Okay, so today we're going to start the abstract shopping class. Uh, the first thing we... This is actually um, the base class, as I was saying before. The first thing we really need to do is to make a, um, a class for the thing. This is sort of... It is the object-orientated programming. And this is going to mean that we'll have a list of these objects encapsulated within the class. Um, and that's going to be the main attribute. And then we'll, of course, have the shopping cart total. So this is a accumulated value of all the values, um, all the items in the thing, in the shopping cart, um, and returning their total. So we'll just start a, another class. So we'll project add another class. And we will call it order item, as it does. Now. This is basically what's called a POCO. Okay, it's called a plain old C sharp object class. Which means basically it's an object that's defined in order to store a heap of classes. Um, and generally there's no methods exception of the constructor. So that's basically what we want. Um, here we are. Uh, with this, if you want to make an instructor, you just write CTOR. And then, yeah. But, yeah, there we are. So, total price, that's one thing worth mentioning. It's never, it hasn't got a set at method. That's because it is never going to be set. It is a calculation of the price and the product quantity. Um, but, yeah, so basically that's um, what we need to start off by doing because next we're going to have a class of the shopping cart. Um, okay. Here we are. Oh wait, sorry. I put a space in there. Just get rid of that space, if you put it in like I did. Um, okay, so we're just going to copy and paste these. This is why I set up the uh, blog space, because basically it just makes it so much quicker for you to put all the code in. Okay, so as I said before, this is a class that we just made the order item. It's encapsulated in a lit, um, inside the shopping cart as a list, so it's a list of things. Um, and then finally we have a decimal shopping cart total. So it just has, it doesn't have a set item either, as the other last thing I talked about did. So we just have a get, and decimal it starts with a zero, and then it goes items, so for each one of these items, and cast a delegate D, um, it assigns the total price of that object so that um, order item, 2x. So it accumulates that for each one and then returns it. So that's all the attributes that we need. The next part, uh, bit is a much longer. It's actually the methods. Um, so yeah, I'll just control shift B, make sure there's no errors. And I'll see you next time where we make the methods.